exclusively Oh darling, just be teaching me Sweet love and she giving me all the time we're joined in studio today by viral sensation and fast rising 19 year old Singji, Javain Gill, more popularly known as J Calm. Who is J Calm? Um, J Calm is just a young boy from JA, you know, um, grew up in Clarendon, went to Glenmere High School, that's one of the top schools in Clarendon. Always been a fan of different different genres of music growing up you know a, lot, a big fan of r b reggae and dance all as a jamaican you're automatically influenced by that so that was just like basically my whole childhood just like listening to music and just being influenced by those genres you know you grew up with the grandma right yeah <laughs> what was that experience like uh very strict <laughs> you know um it was very, it, it was a, it was a very, you know, amazing um, experience. Mm -hmm. You know, she's a very wise woman. You know, um, I learned a lot from her, and it was, it was very educational, and it was just an amazing. I don't regret, I don't regret nothing. Your sound is often compared to that of an R and B international artist, as mentioned before. Was this the aim you hoped to achieve when you went to went on a you know a trial and error trying trying to find your sound and stuff like that? Um, to be honest, no. Huh? Um, it it wasn't really the aim. Like finding this sound was just like me just realizing it rather than rather than really finding it, mm -hmm. and just being comfortable and knowing that okay, this is really the path I should take. You know what I mean? Um. So no, that wasn't really the aim, but it just it just led me there, <laughs> you know, naturally. Yeah. How would you define your musical style though, or your genre? The simplest way to put it that that people can really comprehend either pop reggae or R and B with like island swagger. So like, island swagger. You know, like like a little little dancehall and little reggae influence, like a Jamaican influence in it. You know. So it's infused with both. Exactly. Genre. When would you say you start exposing these talents professionally? It's more of I'm just doing my thing and the world just somehow discovered it. So it would be a year ago um, when my first when my first professional singles, Tempted, yeah. went viral and and people started tuning in on TikTok. It's giving, yeah. Temptation, feel the vibration, the with the sensation, perfect creation, body right. It was just, it just grew ever since then and I, I just instantly felt like, okay, okay, I need to share the fact that I, I dance. I need to share the fact that I produce, I need to share the fact, you know, I just felt like I needed people to know more about me. Mm -hmm. So I just put it out there. Me going through high school, I was just obsessed with music production. So I never really thought of actually singing because I was, yeah, I was actually like, like super, super like shy about it. Yeah. So I wasn't really thinking about going into the booth, mm -hmm. but I always like, found like beats and instrumentals like you know interesting so ever since the seventh grade i was just like researching about how to produce what is music produ production you know what is a music producer mm -hmm. so since then it's just been experimentations and experience and just trying stuff downloading apps and just getting hands-on and making beats you know so how do you balance both when you're producing and actually singing? The Honestly, I wouldn't even say I balanced it yet, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't really say it's balanced. It's still kind of all over the place, but um, usually the process is like either I make a beat and then I just feel like I need to add more to that. So I make it and then I'm like, okay, words need to be added to this. Yeah, so it's it's all just like vibes and, and fun, in a sense. Okay. 
Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 They all come together so that <laughs> nobody would know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Who do you say though are some of the persons who influence you know your career in music, even though most of this stuff are self-taught and it's a passion um, from a longer time? Most of my influence came from my childhood, mm-hmm. to be honest, when it comes to my art history. So, um, um, Chris Brown is an influence. Uh, people, people can tell, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Michael Jackson is also an influence, and he's a, he's an influence in being an artist and being an entertainer, being a dancer. Mm-hmm. You know, so he's major. Um, the weekend, just the way how he writes his music. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> Yeah, um, and you know, there's a there's a there's a few other in in other genres in in Afrobeats. You have Burner Boy, you have um, Wiz Kid, you know, yeah. So anybody from the local scene? From the local scene, you have because I, I do listen to hardcore dance. So, oh. so you have you have Massacre. I listen to Vibes Cartel. When I was going to, to high school, on the reggae side of things, Protege, Chronix. Since recently, I've been listening to Bob a lot as well. <laughs> yeah. One of your most viral singles, as you hinted at before, Tempted, it gained a large number of views on social media sites, TikTok. But one of the greatest win for this single is that it also made its way on Obama's summer playlist last year. What was your initial reaction when you saw that? It was just unreal at the time. It was my manager who really, he he basically called me that day. And I was like, yo, you're on Obama's playlist. Obviously, nobody's going to believe that. So I was like, okay. I wasn't, I wasn't going to believe that. I was like, because knowing him as a prankster, so, nah. <laughs> um, until he sent me a photo and then... I checked it and I don't use X because the X them call it now, but I know it's Twitter, but I don't use that app that much. But I checked it for once, I downloaded it and I checked it and it was like, damn, there's no way. I see the blue tick, I'm like, huh, that's crazy, <laughs> you know. And the only the main question that that's played back in my head is like, how did he discover that song? Like, what, you know, how did he, it reach him? You know, up until this day, I don't know, but I was overwhelmed with that news, mm-hmm. to be honest. Among the list of outstanding moments you've garnered so far, your viral easy single on the revamped Not Nice Street Vibes Within is also uh, a major accomplishment, right? We also saw where you recently collaborated for the remix of your song called Call My Name with international reggae superstar Sean Paul. Describe how you felt working with these musical legends and the vibes working in studio with, with Sean Paul. So working with Sean is it was it was it was unexpected. It was unexpected. I didn't um I I I, I didn't even when I'm in the room with him I'm I'm like I'm with my um, assistant manager I'm like bro Sean, that you know, like we're in the room with Sean, bro. Like, yo, <laughs> Cause it, we were starstruck because, like, we would never imagine a day like this, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, working with him is like completely unexpected, and he's really, he's really a cool guy, like, in person, you know, he's an amazing person. Um, but yeah, it was a cool vibe, we had a lot of fun, and just being around him, you know, mm-hmm. you, you, you learn a lot as well. How about the single with not nice? Not nice. So, so that one erupted like. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, my manager sent me the beat, and it was like, Jay, just do something on this. And I listened to the beat for like a good what, forty-eight hours. It just, I just had it played in the background, mm-hmm. and I was just in the house walking up and down, and I came up with something and decided that all right, why not post this? You know, so I recorded it, posted it, and basically it went viral like instantly on IG. And um, not nice, notice it. And 
he basically contacted my manager and was like, yo, I want to put this song out, you know? He never really expected me to be on the beat because like, you're not that type of, <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> you know? He, yeah, exactly. So he was like, yo, I nah, expect the G to go up on the beat, you know, but John <laughs> you know? Yeah. And from then, decided to do a video and I never met, the, we, me and him never talked the whole time. And the first time I met him was on the video shoot, you know? And I met him in person. He was a really cool guy, funny as hell, like funny. You know, <laughs> really charismatic, but yeah. really cool guy in person. Even though I mean, I'm not nice, I'm nice. <laughs> Coming this summer, there's going to be um, two singles, you know, out one called Distance. It's about basically just long distance relationships. And um, yeah, I'm working on that with a producer called Troy Taylor who's he's like a very major producer in, in, in the States, you know, worked with a lot of like legendary R&B artists, you know, such as Trey Songs, even Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. So I have a couple works with him as well, mm -hmm. you know. Um, German, Amudio, he's a, one of the best mixing engineers in Jamaica, one of the best producers in Jamaica, you know, worked with Governor, pretty much m most dancehall artists. Mm -hmm. Have a single with him as well called Lightweight. It'll be released in sometime in the summer. So the journey seems blissful looking, you know, from the outside in. But how has it been for you personally so far, if you want to be honest? Um, heptic. Uh, very messed up schedule, <laughs> very messed up sleep schedule, but it has been fun and, you know, it's just God's work. You know, I thank God every day and I'm just, I'm just blessed, you know, and I'm just appreciative of all that I achieved, you know, I'm humbled by it, you know, so yeah, it's just been really fun. I'm just enjoying it as it goes, you know? Okay, yeah. So in the next five years from now, do you have a plan for that? Do you foresee anything that you can say you're potentially looking forward to musically or otherwise? To be one of the most influential and creative mm -hmm. artists in the world. Yeah. That's one of the main things. Um, or that is the main thing to just be one of the most influential artists in the world. You think you you possess the qualities to change the dynamics from, you know, having a, a Grammy nominated genre for the dance or especially the dance hall sector with your uniqueness added to the, the local dance hall scene? I think that's possible. I think that's possible. I'm not saying I'm gonna be um, the carrier yeah. of dance hall or anything, you know, that's up to the people. But it's just all about just doing what I, I do best and just see where it goes, you know. Temptel, pretty like a night in Memphis. As Jesus Christ is a blessing, do you move on my am hell bent? With her, I'm not I'm bold enough. Is my heart cold enough? Wondering if I could trust you.